Hello everyone, this is Cam and welcome to another BOTV video and today we are doing the midweek competition and uh, this is the final video of the midweek competition so keep in mind there's a VIP live stream, Patreons only live stream coming up on uh, Wednesday so those who haven't joined the Patreons make sure link is in the description below join the Patreons so that you can get access to the cameras on VIP, WhatsApp and the Facebook group okay right so I've got my man Dean GT here with me, how's it going Dean? Evening, Cam. Yeah, not too bad, buddy. Not too bad. Welcome back. Yeah, I had an early start yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, I had a three thirty uh, start uh, yesterday or well, today. So okay. So, but I'm back, people. <laughs> good, 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 good to have you back. We also got Colin with us. How's it going, Colin? Hi, right, guys. You okay? How are you, Dean? Yeah, uh, not too bad, bad buddy. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. And also got my man Sean here. How's it going, Sean? I'm all hey, good. Evening, hey, guys. Good Evening, Sam. Evening, Dean. Evening, Colin. Evening, oh. Cam. All right. So uh, let's go through some comments very quickly. So before we get started, don't forget to give us some thumbs up, guys, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't uh, already. Okay. Right. So uh, Mike, just join us again. Good evening, everyone. A rare couple of days off for me, so I thought I would tune in. A very interesting day on the WhatsApp group. That's for sure. Good luck to me <laughs> and everyone else. Uh, just to let you know, yeah. no, I haven't. I haven't won or anything. Do you know what I mean? It's on the WhatsApp group, people are going about uh, Cam one and went for a playoff or anything. Well, I don't know about others, but I didn't. I didn't go for a playoff or anything. So we'll find out tomorrow anyway. So we're still hoping to get a call tomorrow. Well, I'm not really because I'm not confident with my tickets. But there you go. How's it going, Ronaldo? Hello. Evening, Ronaldo. Are you right, buddy? Be a good evening. Abu Chad, how's it going, Abu? If you're not, going, if Hi, you're not confident in where you went, why did you go there? I don't know, man. I just you, you know, got the, you know when I when I'm not that confident, I go for quite a lot of tickets. I don't know why I just end up doing it. It's just natural, just comes from inside. So I played 75 tickets and pretty much I spread them Whoa. everywhere. <laughs> I normally don't spread it that much, but this week I did. I have to. I have to. Um, uh, stay in a limit actually because spending a bit too much this month I spent quite a lot. Yeah, you keep you know saying I mean? it, Cam. So, I've told you as yeah, well. I keep saying it, but well, I keep spending it to... myself and everyone else. Uh, you know, quite quite a bit of money I spent this week, probably over 600 pounds or something. But no, yeah, you've got to keep it's... it down a bit. Yeah, the <clears throat> problem is, the I know we can't stop you doing it, Cam, but we just could. You're gonna look at the situ you know, your situation. I know about your situation, and yeah. just just to address it as a friend, you know, just play for fun, like we tell everybody. You know, yeah, we gotta yeah. lead by example. It's like it's lead. like it's like the doctors. Like my dad, he's a doctor, and every patient that comes to him, uh, you know, you, you know, uh, he he goes, oh, you have to stop smoking and all that, and he's a chain smoker. Drum, <laughs> that's how it is. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. He, he goes on like goes for a fag every now and then. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, sorry, yeah. I missed your uh, comment, Colin. What did you say? Uh, just have the faith, mate. Only you can make that decision. But yeah, just keep the faith. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, what's the point, isn't it? I mean, to know, man. Right, let's go through some comments. Hi, Toby. Hope you're good. Hi, Abu. Hi, Marble Steve. Hope you're good. How's it going? Okay. Mike and who else joined? Ab Mamdi Hakim, hope you're good. Hassan Khan, hi Gary, how's it going? Hi guys. Uh, hope you're good. Hi guys. Hi Tom, hope you're good. Hi Sami, <laughs> the real Sami in the building. How's it going, Sami? Uh, hope you're good. Hi Samuel, Samuel. Hi Connie, hope you're good. Hi Anthony Wilson. Hi Manny, hope you're good. Okay, right. So let's go ahead and uh, find out this week's. Uh, well, we've done a video about this already, so let's see if we can come up with slightly better coordinates. And so, guys, please submit your coordinates uh, as soon as possible so that we can take your coordinates and try to come up with a better area than last time. So let's just start with sharing my screen, and we'll go from there. I've sorted my internet out. I have to reboot everything, and it's bang on now. It's been working good all day. For how long? I don't know. I mean, yesterday it kept on going off every every few minutes. It was really annoying me yesterday. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, no, I ran Sky. I say I keep having this problem. Uh, I might. I was saying to him that I'm gonna. 
I'm thinking of changing, you know, broadband provider because it's doing me head in. My kids are on my back. Yeah. They're not getting good internet. And the guy said, don't worry, we'll do our test and all that. So let's see how long it goes for. <laughs> yeah, of course. Right, yeah. so good news is this week, uh, well, I think from now on, uh, it's going to stay like every car with 20K. So good offer, yeah. cheap tickets, guys, good return. So make sure if you're buying a lot of tickets like me, like I do, you know, do your thing, do your drawing and everything, and then come up with the area so that we can, uh, you know, you can get I close think, or possibly win. I think one thing they should have done on midweek, I'm happy what they've done because we always discuss about 20K. They should have had a few extra cars, you know, different cars that's not been on. I mean, it would have done them all better. I don't yeah. care about the price if they increased it by 10p, 15p, that doesn't matter. But the uh, more you got more choice of different yeah. cars. So yeah. they do that. Like that BMW Motec one. Yeah. The M135 Motec. They should keep that yeah. on there. That's a lovely car. Yeah. I bet that's a lot of demand. A lot of people play that on midweek, yeah. I think. Yeah. I, I played for it when that other bus driver won it. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, Turo saying is Cam, you won the life, so you should be happy. People here never won anything. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm not complaining. I'm happy. Uh, obviously, that did help me uh, quite a lot that time when I won. I, I really needed money and everything, but I won, and uh, yeah, it's, it was it's a nice feeling, man. Um, it would be nice to win again, but let's see. I need to be very lucky for that. Okay, right. So, um, Dean, have you got the last coordinate? The average. Yeah, twelve eighty five. Yeah, six eight two. Yeah, and obviously I've put the answer, the new answer to the new lifestyle question as well. Okay. What is it? St. Oh, I Can you that, name? I thought that was a uh, far. Can you name the others? Oh, you've you've got Romania. Oh, you've got D. That's uh, I think Germany. D. Yeah. Um, yeah. BG. NL yeah. is Netherlands. Yeah. So ST, what's that? ST is nothing. ST what's is that? Nothing. Yeah. What's that? Dean <laughs> twelve eighty five. Six eight two. That seems better. D G T I lifestyle answer S T G T S T. Maybe you should play for the the ST. ST. Yeah, it must be a lucky sign. Yeah, that's true. Just play for fun. <laughs> then you're gonna win, and Dean's gonna be like, "Why did I win?" I have played for the Monsoon. Yeah, the the, the dream car, but I, I'm not fast. What car I win? Oh. Um, <laughs> all right. So, now, <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's start taking coordinates. So first coordinate was submitted by Kasim Khan, which is thirteen twenty six six eight four. It was a runner up the other day as well, Kasim. Yeah. Yeah, me and him were, yeah, me and him. Yeah. Uh, just to answer Mother Steve's uh, question, obviously it's not my first, obviously <laughs> I'm not moving to the new depot till May the 8th now, so, but I, obviously I did go back to work today and I was freezing my Queen Jewels off. Oh, it's been cold. It's really cold. Minus two. Oh, it's been, minus two. Cold. It's been, it's been yeah. snowing all day since last night. Yeah. yeah. It's really it's cold. Yeah, we've had a bit of snow, but it's not been sticking, Colin. You know, the snow's not been sticking that much, but yeah, it's just it's been, been cold. Settling, like, it's been snowing all day, but it didn't settle, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yes, Connie, I did say it was the wrong bus driver that won that uh, Motec BMW. <laughs> <laughs> Arturo, Dingy, or do you... He's going to say that again when, uh, when Colin wins. We're like, oh, yes. wrong bus <laughs> driver, he got me wrong again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, a two a gutty. Yes, I was running up last week. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> no worries, Mother Steve. Hope you're well and hope Steve Steve Father Steve's okay. Yeah. So do you guys have a coordinate? Let me just put it on. I think people are still uh submitting their coordinates, waiting for a few people to join. Let me take two packs one quickly.
It's the same one that I took or something. Okay, crankly bottom. <laughs> yeah, he's giving you the average there. Two oh, gave you the average, yeah. Oh, I see. No problem. No worries. Who joined, uh, Sean? I thought your internet right. connection was fixed. It's doing me head in again. <laughs> <laughs> I just disappear and come back. Invisible. Come back. It's crazy. Uh, let's just see. <laughs> Might use my Wi-Fi data then. <laughs> mobile data, sorry. Not Wi-Fi data. Mobile. It's even got me confused. It's got me confused seeing Wi-Fi data. <laughs> got no Edmonds on there. Crinkly bottom. <laughs> Evening Anderson What happened to everyone? It's today about only 70 people watching Normally we get about over 100 people By this time Everyone's busy it's mm. Monday, Cam, Monday's normally like that, I think, is it? Because people have just gone first day back to work from the weekend off and it's yeah. knackered. What's your yeah. coordinate, Dean? Um, I went Didn't know you were running up, Shan. How's it going, John? J Hope you're good. JD Shank, uh, I played for the RS3 and RS6R, and that was two quarters <laughs> away. Ah, RS6 R. Finally, Liverpool fans can shut the FA Cup. <laughs> <laughs> we've got Swansea on Wednesday, <laughs> oh, and then we've got Spurs, so that's another six pointer. Obviously, Swansea is just the FA Cup. Going, but Leeds are two 0 up against Crystal Palace. Yeah, Leeds. Yeah, oh, yeah, basket, yeah, yeah sorry, what's that? So sorry, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Kane's back now as well. No, I'm still. I'm you know I'm still op optimistic that we can beat Spurs easily. I know they've been a bogey club for us in the past few years, but I think this time we can get one over. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, one one man doesn't make a team. Yeah, sometimes it does. Sometimes they rely on the one player. They always in in the past they've stereotypes one players that are saying, "Oh, without him he can't do this, he can't do that." They, that's happened in the past, but nowadays I think it's all about team, not just yeah. individual. It's about a team. And football is a team, not an individual. Exactly. So people people used to tap. Whoa! Well, if one player's missing, he's gone. Your team can't play. That was in the past, but nowadays everyone's a good player as a team. Yeah. That's a good number. 12, 7, 8, 7, 8, 6. Lucky number, that. Come on, no, 7, 8, 6 is a lucky number. I'm surprised yeah, we have I'm surprised we have my phone number, number, 7, 8, 6. Uh, 12, okay. 7, 8 is, it, is my, it's the date, it's uh, the year I was born, 7, 8. And the date was 12. <laughs> you ought to have a pressure on in a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah. I'll kiss yeah. Patel. Yeah. Right, no, no. Love you. Sweet dreams. Um, does watching football help you with playing BOTB? Not necessarily. Football in a live game is totally I think different. He's having an understanding of football, isn't it? Yes, I, I mean, obviously, I played centre center off in Sunday League football, so I played that for like 20 odd years. And then my son took over me, and then he started playing. So <laughs> he's got to understand. He, he, he was a bet, he's a better player than me, I've got to admit. He's a good, strong tackler. But I played football too. Uh, I know, like we were explaining about the dream car yesterday. Uh, about the foul, what Steve was saying, why did uh, Ruben Diaz? And I said, I've done that as a centre half, as a defender. You do that. You tend to do that. It's just a moment of lapse. You do that. So, yeah, I do understand football, but understanding football doesn't necessarily mean you could play BOTV better than anybody. It's just a look 
and some good coordinates and good eye lining. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Shan's the main man. He's been a runner-up a few times. Is this Shan, Shan's day today? Uh, yes, I've been. I was a runner-up before when the guy won a Fiesta. At the, I think it was a. He, he played for. He won the midweek prize on the green card. Do you remember, guys, that Fiesta? Oh, Matty, yeah. No, not Matty. The other guy, the baldy guy from Wigan, I think it was. Sorry if he's watching. I don't mean to call you bold, but um, <laughs> um, not being disrespectful. Not being disrespectful. That's my motto. I'll never be disrespectful to anybody. But just uh, he, he, you said he didn't even take the twenty k, and he the the prize money he won on Dream Car was equivalent to the midweek, and I was running up there as well. So yeah, it's just yeah, I know it's a. Uh, probably end up being called Mr. Runner up next. <laughs> Any more coordinates, Colin? Have you got a coordinate? Yeah, uh, 247636. 247? Yeah, 636. Yeah, I've got a coordinate uh, cam as well. I'm not giving it to you before. Six, six, th 36, did you say? Yes. Okay, yeah. What's yours, Sean? 1182. Yeah. 853. I'm going below there. Romaldo, have you got a coordinate? Yeah, one second. Look, I'll get it in a second. One second. Yeah, it's um, seven. I've got to go seven, not eight. Thirteen hundred seven one one. Yeah, I meant to go seven five three, not eight five. So you went with the right eye. Because that's the way the eyes are looking, and it always goes above the eye that it's leaning towards. So, yeah, usually, roughly, roughly around there. Anyway, that's fine. I just a bit to the left or right of it, but around there. Is that another dog, Colin? You got no, it's me cat. Oh, sorry, I couldn't see it clear there. Gin I mean, ginger cat. Yeah, my sister's got a couple of ginger cats. I've got the other one. She's she's sat in the bed. Yeah, my sister's got one similar to that. She she is that like a that greyish colour cat? My sister had one, but it got run yeah, over by a car. It's a very rare colour she had, and uh, she kept it for eight years, and it got run over by some careless driver, and he he ran off. The, the Unfortunately. ginger. Unfortunately, they had to put it down. Ginger and white. Eight, years old. Yeah, they come part of the family. They grew up with the youngest kid. You know, when you you get a kitten, only a few weeks old, and then you you, you have a child was born, and then your child's ten years old, and he kittens a cat now, and it's that comes part of your family. At one time, we had seven cats. <laughs> yeah, you, you like my sister, then she she rehomes the cats. I mean, obviously, she finds people, and then she passes on to people who want to like, have a cat. She won't let it go until that she knows that someone, pet lover will keep them safe. She's that, so attached to cats, my sister. She's very caring towards pets. <laughs> Dog, she's in the she's in the living room on the wife's knee. <clears throat> yeah. It's cold in the winter. Her cats, she's got about five cats now, and they sit near the gas fire. <laughs> it's really nice, you know, for them to keep you. You can imagine if you stand outside how cold it is, and what do you think that cat will feel? How cold it is. 
So you know, we, we've only good. got um, we've only got three cats left now. Mm. Uh, the others have all gone now, unfortunately. Yeah, she, at one time, his sister had about ten cats. Obviously, she put some for people who want to rehome them and all that. Luke Star, the answer is ST, buddy. Mike T, stop, that, being, stop being rude. You've got a ginger pushy at home. <laughs> Who's that? I've got a ginger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, know that I know that his missus has got blonde hair. <laughs> JJD, thanks very much. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, I miss so. I missed JD Shank's comment before. Thanks, mate. Looks on your side. Hopefully, mate. Even for Dean or the rest of us in the crew. Not just me. I don't mind waiting, guys. I know I've waited so long for years to do some work, but mm. like you said, Dean, you know, I've, I've done a lot of things before competitions and all that. Mm. But you keep trying, but our day will come. That's you've got to just stay positive. Mm. Exactly. Because if we don't stay positive, what's the point we're playing then? That's the thing. Exactly. exactly. That's the reason we're playing, because we know we're positive and that makes you carry on. Hey, go. Arturo, go ahead, comment for Sam. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> hey, welcome to today's topic. It's Cats and Dog with Shani. Yeah, I'm a pet lover. I used to have a Rockweiler. I used to have a cat when we were a kid. My parents kept the cat. We had that cat for nearly 20 years, so it was so attached to us. You know, 20 years, imagine having the same cat for 20 years. I mean, I think I was, how old was I then when we had it? I was seven, and that, uh, she lived till 20 years old. Imagine, that was, was, 20, imagine and it was Spot it was part cat. of our family. Spot the cat. Spot the cat, says spot the ball. Then they could put it literally anywhere. It's like, yeah, the cat would be standing there on the on the roof. <laughs> The cat's ears, you got to see the cat ears. And then it's good, some good, lively topic. This, yeah, yeah, no, because I'm so attached to cats. Was it like I just said, you know, I was seven years old and my parents got a cat, and uh, that cat lived for 20 years and up to even when I left home, got my own place, and uh, I still used to go to your parents and see the cat. So it was part of our family. we got so that's two different clusters here tonight. So some of them are going a bit more to the right and higher. And then we got a few people going to the left and a bit lower. So which area do you think? Do you guys think the more? Uh, the middle. I think the middle area because... I don't way... think it's going to be a big spread. You know the well; those judges can literally do anything, but nice. I don't think it's going to be a massive spread. Mm. Depending on the height, that's the main thing, really. Yeah, height is the issue, isn't it? Height is the issue in here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I for think... the judges, I I would say they would probably go within. Should be all of the judges should be inside that box. Yeah, depending on yeah. if say that he's just he's just headed it and he's coming down or he's jumping up to head the ball yeah as well but but if you look at if you guys look at the blue player he's looking like in a triangle he's that one eye's going that way one eye's going this way so it's forming a triangle so mm. the try where i'm sensing is looking is in between <laughs> the first, first feeling, cluster I'm with, and the, i'm with the Ronaldo first... with this one because i oh. think they're gonna just go with that right eye which is his left eye and they might just go straight up from the from the right eye. Look, that's why they might just go, you know, for average. That's what they've been doing in the past anyway. So that's where the big cluster is. Let me oh. just draw another line quickly. The only issue with this is because it's quite high up, the mic goes tiny tiny bit more to the right than straight up with it being higher up because all the yeah, other yeah. ones where it's like this it's been quite low the ball yeah well, sort of close to the play but this one's really high up so i don't i don't know if i might go there and then start yeah. doing a cluster towards the right yeah i mean if we go straight up the 
cluster is even though it, that line doesn't look straight but it's actually straight that's the thing about these pictures anyway so ronaldo went 1300 which is more to the right that looks all right still i think they might just go straight up from this guy yeah mm. so which is it's a, it's a fair point with ronaldo sure. obviously the guy yeah. in orange is headed it so it's coming from as you look at the picture from right to left yeah so i mean on this picture dean to be honest there was nothing nothing much to do uh what shall I, how shall i say this there's not it's not not much about the body language or what's actually happening in the picture mm. we more we need to discuss more about where the judge is going to go because it's a straightforward picture it's going to be inside that thing i think yeah. With the orange guy too, you can't see where he's actually looking. Obviously, you can see his head's tilted, but his actual eyes himself on his on his, his actual eyes, you can't see if they're looking up, straight forward, or sort of down. Yeah, yeah. they're not clear like they are on the blue plate. Even though it's a higher res picture because it's four thousand odd pixels, you still can't see where he's actually looking. So, yeah, we all still in agreement that he has just headed it though. Yeah. Yeah, I think he has because you can see he's coming down. His flight of him is coming down. I don't um, understand one thing. Why would he head it, head, head it like upwards? You know how you head it. Why would you do that? Like unless because it, it's a side it, Huh? He's claiming it by the look. Clean there. it. Cleaning it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's a defender. Oh, yeah, he's a defender, isn't it? Yeah, number six, yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but may, maybe the the person that where we can see the hand might be his teammate. So he's flicked it onto him or something. I don't know why, but I think it's higher than that that line that I drew. Mm. So I mean, but don't forget, obviously, if he's just headed it, he's coming down. So he's. Thank you, Arturo Gatti. I love you too, mate. Yeah, it's good to have that little banter. <laughs> I like it. 2021, I'm going to look like Santa Claus. <laughs> and, and, so. and, Mike, and Mike T. So, Dean and Mike T. Are oh, he's, 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 he's beating me. He's, I think he's got about five or six months growth. <laughs> Better than mine, anyway. So mm -hmm. I think Cam, Cam's got to start doing that now. What? Grow that beard more long until he win. No, no, no. I was thinking from last two days, I've probably... I did attempt to shave my beard off for like at least 10 times, but it's my son. I don't know why. I don't know what, what he knows about beard. Like, oh, no, I like you. I like you as you are. Don't shave it. It is that. Hello. <laughs> I was going to shave even yesterday. Yeah. Just yes, go man. ahead. Do it. Let me. You can't pick it now, so you have to get a, like a razor machine or something, isn't it? No, I got... I got everything like if I want to just trim it and everything I got I, I bought it from Amazon those oh yeah electric the things. trimming kit yeah. like, facial wax and he's gonna put it on and <laughs> loud that bro yeah <laughs> Chip them off don't do that with you, bro, you got a cord note from Andy the boost there Cam oh I yeah know. put that in have That's a look it. at it uh 2040 he's talking about dream car I think oh probably. On my own, in the opinion, but if the judging moves, okay, through, it'll be okay. I'll so, let him know. Um, I, can you I, answer, yeah, please? So many pictures. JD Shanks' question. Sorry, because someone else highlighted it. If you can highlight it, JD Shanks' question, I wonder for a while. All right, okay. just above. Right. Can you do it? Yeah. Uh, who was it? Andy, do you think? Is that is that the corner for this week? I mean, this picture. Oh, that's totally. That puts a blue player out of the view there. It's a right lining where he's putting it, but it's for the left. Ten seventy nine. Maybe he's just having a crack. It's not going to be there. Well, I think if he's just only focusing on this guy here, well, still doesn't line up. Let me know, Andy. 
Uh, Romaldo just ignore for a second that coordinate. Let's see what he says and then we'll decide it later. Did you take that coordinate, Romaldo? That twenty forty one. Your mic's mute. I've I've just put it in the chat because no one was submitting anymore. So no, no. I'm trying to say that twenty forty coordinate. Did you take? That? Yeah, no, I didn't put it in. Okay, no problem. Uh, just to answer JD Shank's question, obviously at the moment, obviously because of the pandemic, Christian can't obviously knock on our door and visit us. So he will call you FaceTime tomorrow uh, for Dreamcar and midweek Friday. Until until it changes, until obviously all this pandemic's over, then obviously that's when they restart knocking on your door and surprising you or calling your uh, surprise contact buddy. I'm sure... End of this week or start of next week, they've got to review the lockdown no, restrictions. I've just done it again because uh, someone submitted some two more people, so I've just done it again now. Okay. I don't, I don't think it'll change it much anyway. Let me yeah. We tried them too, MT Azali and Alkes MD Patel, yeah. Hakim. Al Patel is the same coordinate as uh, Hassan Khan anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because <laughs> mm, I said it, that's why they, um, he put it down. Yeah. He has moved more to the right and slightly lower. What should I do? Okay, so. No worries, JD Shan. We got the average coordinate, guys. Let me see. Let's put it on first. Put it in there first. Yeah. Average coordinate is that one here. Toby Tuck, they will actually call you, buddy, because obviously it's FaceTime, so your your surprise contact won't be called. It would be you personally. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, guys, so we got the average coordinate now, which is 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 1, 5. Let me know in the comment below what do you think about the average coordinate and how close you are to the average. Let us know. So, average looks okay. Yeah. Looks okay. Not bad. Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> no worries. <laughs> no worries, buddy. Actually, I think that looks really good, that average. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, it looks okay. It's though. right in the center. Yeah, that's how it is, isn't it? The judges, like, it goes nowhere near the actual coordinates that they do they literally go right in the center and like that's where it lands but if you look at the player what Romaldo was highlighting yeah. in a couple of days ago with all the mini coordinates in the center of the forehead line nose line as well that's where it is you can see the yeah if you do it so each end of the cross is on the right eye and left eye in there yeah Cross, do you know what I mean? That's what I've been watching, looking on the past few days, and, you know, test, looking at where, why do they do in the middle, and you can see why. Yeah. It's the centre point there. They're looking at the ball in the centre of that. Yeah. Have you played any tickets on this one yet? Uh, no, not yet. So I was just wondering how the the crosses look on the high res picture. You know, with it being twice as big the picture. I mean, we thought they're going to do the dream car picture. Remember when you were talking about it? But no, it's it's probably just this picture. Maybe next next week's midweek will probably be back to normal. It's just probably a pictures like that. Yeah. Yeah, the average looks okay. Not bad. What do you think, guys? Yeah, it's bang on. Yeah, yeah, I think it's good. Guys, don't forget to give us some thumb thumbs up if you're liking if you're liking this video. It really helps us, guys. And uh, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Okay, so uh, I think where it is now is the max left the overall average will be. Not where because there will be some judges that go left of there. Well, I think mm -hmm. that'll be the most left that the overall average could be. Yeah, it might be. Let me let me draw some lines. One second. So if that's so, it's a possible one where they go. 
Yeah, it is possible for them to go more to the right because, I mean, the average to be more to the right. Because yeah. uh, this guy is tilted that way, even though he's looking straight up, but he's tilted that way a little bit. So obviously there's a possibilities that it might just be around this area. Um, if I do like the average, obviously the spread pretty much, you, can, you, you cannot predict it. But the average to be even if it goes slightly higher than that, it's probably the lower. I don't think it's going to be much lower, but around this area, I think. I just think, I just wish you could see his eyes on the orange player. Like, you just can't see his eyes at all. It's just like all dark. Yeah. I don't know if it might be more helpful to do the maximum, ha just only from the orange the player in orange, not the blue, but just the one in orange, the maximum height. And the maximum low, and then go in the middle. Do you think? Because some judges might interpret it as looking high, and some might interpret it as looking low. Uh, uh, to be honest, that blue line that uh, looks like bang on. Because if you say average was maximum high, but if you say like his vision or like that where the judge is gonna go, like that's probably they're gonna go up to here. Yeah, say, like, yeah. third or fourth row of the tiles. Yeah, that's the from most... obviously from bottom up. Low, I don't think it's going to be that much to the low. Yeah, um, then take the middle. Yeah, now if you go for the middle, then obviously it's going to go slightly higher than where we went with the blue lining because let me pick a different color. But just see how it looks because they be, might vary the height on this one. I think, you know, like some of the pictures where they're all clustered together but in a line, I think it might yeah. be like that. I would um, say let's coordinate in that case if we work out this way. Is gonna be one second if we go right in the middle of both of them. Is let me see, twelve ninety five six seven four. Yes, Dougie D. Take that, take a note of that coordinate. So, was it twelve ninety five and Seven. Ronaldo special. <laughs> Seven. What? One second, I'll give you that. Uh, JD Shank, if they do, oh, six, seven, if, if they don't get if they don't get hold of you the first time, they will try try from their office, or they will email you if they don't get you by phone call, buddy. Yeah. Or, or, or your dad. So don't worry. They 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 will get on to you any way they can. Can yeah. you just? Hide the lines and just put the <laughs> magnifying glass on, on that one. See what it looks like. Just hide the lines. Yes, uh, to get it. Don't need to delete yeah. them. Just yeah. yeah. Oh. Cheers, Dougie D, dead boy. Was it seven six seven four? Run it. Yeah. Twelve ninety five, six seven four. This coordinate. There you go. What do you think? That the one, two, is that on the third row of the tiles? It looks really good, trust me. It does. Slates, sorry. They're not tiles, they're slates. It looks really good. No worries, JD Shank. No worries, buddy. But if you start the cluster from there, I would probably go a little bit higher and uh, I'll keep going down. I'll yeah. go down from that cluster. So you're working downwards. How much credit I'm going to get tomorrow. If I get enough, I probably play 75 on this too. Do you think this might be one where some of the judges draw it, will draw it from the forehead, won't they? From the orange guy's forehead. You can do. It like yeah. Matt, Matt can does that. Even, so if he's there, he'll yeah. draw it from like the even forehead. Even if he does, even if That's he does, done. it still looks all right there. Yeah, because it, it uh, you can't tell with his eye. So it's yeah. probably going to be definitely... The, how high his forehead is lifted up. Even if it does, it still looks all right. Because if you if you draw a line from a forehead, you have to, you know, it kind of looks all right. Yeah, I probably your your top line. I'd probably go just a tad a little higher because, as we said, obviously he's headed it, so he's coming down. So the ball would be a bit higher. Yeah. Do you, like I say, probably the fourth level of the tiles from the bottom. Yeah. So, yeah. Which what card are you playing on midweek? Um, 
I'd probably play the VMM2. I can't yeah. remember what I've played for, actually. Um, oh, have you already played some? Yeah, I've played 20, 26. Well, I've played 40. What do the crosses look like on the high res? Really small. You know, small. when you click. Yeah, re you... really small. Really yeah. small. They're, they're smaller than, obviously, from previous. So, um, what have I played for? A <coughs> A45. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think I've just played for all A45. Oh, Mustang. Yeah. So, just the A45 and the Mustang. How's it going, Dr. Cooney? Hope you're good. Yeah, that looks all right. Trust me. It looks quite good. Mikey Team, Evo 6, and the. Well, the problem is, if you if you do seventy five tickets quite right next to each other, it's gonna cover a tiny little dot. If you spread them up, and it will probably look good in here, but on a full rest picture, you're gonna have a massive gap between them. Mm. I think this picture, like with that much of a resolution, probably just for this week, because if they did it. Excuse me, if they did a regular thing, it would have been on the dream car too, so it's not there. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, yeah. How's it going, James? Hope you're good. James is a patron, so Hi, James. special welcome. <laughs> uh, what is it compared to the last average? Okay. Uh, what was the last average? <clears throat> The average was. I think we better, we're better off taking all these coordinates off, uh, so that we can just check with the average and skip drawing lines. We saw the spread anyway, where yeah. people go in and everything. But uh, you know, I'm not. Well, I'm not going for the uh, coordinates at the bottom. I don't think it's going to be that much low, uh, because he had it and everything is still in top of his jump, and then the ball's going to be a lot higher than him. So. Uh, that's where it is. If he was on the floors, I would have went for those coordinates than drumming, you know I but he's still, you know, high. So obviously, he's, he's not high, but he jumped high. So, drumming. Uh, you know I mean? uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. What are you, you going to do an average from the the two that you've got up in private chat and the one that we done first? No, what I'm trying to say is uh, just to put all the averages. Oh, right, okay. it, see how it looks because okay. if we hide the lines that's where it is uh, it looks okay uh, how it looks definitely looks okay uh, that also looks okay from uh, I mean what's he called the X yeah. also looks okay not too bad so that is a good area but I would probably move slightly to the right up to 13 20 pixels and slightly to the left up to probably 1280, 1270 pixels and slightly up to 1050, 650, sorry, and down to 700. That's what I would probably cover on this. You mean you'd move it to 1300x and 711 height, right? Did I say 711? No, but that's what I'm saying. That's where you'd move it, right? Because that's the one that I gave you earlier. <laughs> oh, how much did you say? 1300, 711. Oh, yeah. I'll go up to 700. Uh, but I'll go up to 1320. No, that's what I said because that's the one I gave you earlier on as uh, mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying that's where you'd go, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy 75 tickets so that you don't win. I'll play one then. Only one ticket there. So then you'll have to <laughs> be forced to play a playoff despite uh, despite playing 75. But he, the, the, but to do that, you only need to play one ticket. No more. That's what I'm saying. I'll play one. In that place, and you play seventy five, then you still have to do a playoff. Even though I only played one, and you played seventy five. <laughs> yeah. That can happen. I think it happened with that uh, that young lass from uh, Essex. She played only, I think, a free ticket or one ticket. So M eight. Well, it was a bit free ticket because I think that was the first time playing, so she wouldn't have had a free oh, ticket. Right. So yeah, it would have been just yeah, not yeah, just one ticket. Yeah, just the one ticket. But I don't think she took the car because there's no. Collection with you on that. No, she took the cash return if she was a student. So pay the student loans off. Yeah, more than likely, yeah. <laughs> or just piss it up <laughs> against the wall like most students do. Yeah. <laughs> they go to uni so that they can get the loan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
and never pay that off. <laughs> and just because of that loan, they don't go to work. Mm. They don't. <laughs> yeah, cause, yeah, some people have like weekend jobs or evening jobs while they're studying. Uh, J James ba Bashford wanted to know if you were still taking a coordinate. You can submit a coordinate, mate. Not a problem. Yeah. And stick some lines have gone with the fact I cannot see what under the orange guy. All right, let's see. Let's let's have a look. 12 70, 10 15. 12 70, 7 0, 10 15. Imtiaz <laughs> Ali. Imtiaz Ali and AH. Uh, guys, they've highlighting. Yeah, you're doing it now. <laughs> Fried chicken and cheap Polish beef. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Sounds a bit Ali, right. problem is that guy in orange is not looking that low, I think. It, it could be, but you can't tell. Because mm. you could be like that, but then sort of looking like that. But you can't tell because you can't see his eyes at all. That's, that's what I don't like about the guy in orange at this. Yeah. Mm. It's just so dark, like shade, that you can't see where he's actually looking. Do you re do you reckon the judges are going to take the uh, the other guy in orange, like just near where his right arm is? As you look at the picture, do you reckon they take his kind of eye level or not? Yeah, if you take his eye level, it kind of matches with this mm. where Imtiaz Ali went. Because he, obviously he's quite far back from obviously the other orange and obviously the guy in blue. So he's a bit further back. I do think some judges will go there though. Mm. Uh, that low one. But it just depends in will they, will they keep them in and keep the average in the middle or will they remove the bottom ones and move it so it'll move quite a lot up. Because yeah. I think most of them will go high but there will be some low and it just depends if they keep the low ones in or if they'll just remove them and it'll make it go really high. Yeah. yeah depending on, if we, obviously, if they if they all do their coordinates and there's obviously like three or four that are all close together, they might take that in consideration and go with the ma majority of the people that are close together, like they done yeah. a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah. Who was it? Uh, uh, not Ari. Not Ari. Uh, Alan. Alan Goma. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Maybe he's uh, been replaced though, hasn't he? Yeah, he got to last week. He, he got Matt Cannon. Yeah, I was going to say he got he's been, back, he's he? been demoted. Uh, hey, hey, thought is you're going to be at zone four, buddy. <laughs> you never know, that might be a really cool, Who knows? Yeah. I think they might have put Matt Cannon on his head on the mid now just to keep it consistent because people were complaining that it wasn't consistent. Yeah. So if it's the same Looks judge... right from the guy in orange, but not mm. from him. Yeah, you made a good valid point there, Mada. Could be possibly, yeah. Because he's, people he's were... quite consistent and dreamcast. Probably... No, but I mean, it's consistent as in because it's the same head judge each time. Whereas if it's switching between them, like people saying, oh, it's different between them. You know mm. what I mean? Whereas yeah. Yeah. if it's just the same one that should technically be sort of the same kind of judging in it so yeah. Yeah. i wish it was alan gomar that time though because obviously i reckon he wouldn't have taken anyone out because it was quite quite well spread and when they did take the two two judges out and took it way off mine so i probably would have got more credit than i got or probably would have been bang on from that last one Oh, yeah. Make Hugh Gilroy the head judge, yeah. <laughs> James, James looks all right. Your ex looks bang on. Why? I think it's slightly lower. Hugh Gilroy the head judge. Well, he was the head judge before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roger like Wheeler, him? yeah. Roger, imagine yeah, him being Roger the head judge. Hugh, Hugh was the head judge. The Joker was. Hmm. Yeah, in the past. Imagine Roger Wheeler being the uh, judge. People say go spec sales. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's a nice fella, but he's just, I don't know, he's probably got really poor eyesight now and probably struggles sometimes. Yeah. He's got to be in his 70s at least. Roger. Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely in his, if not 70s, but late 60s. Yeah. 
I think he can't be early 60s. He's probably towards, he's probably 68 or something like that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, <clears throat> that cross uh, that we we have done, I'm quite confident with a uh, guy in blue, but I think it might just be slightly lower from the guy in orange because I'm looking at it now because... Yeah, it looks good in here, but it might just be at the bottom edge of that coordinate right there. What about going between there, between what you've just done now on the average one? That's not even the average. It's just we drew the line, remember? So oh, yeah, but, well, between four, between that one anyway and what you've drawn now, I mean. Bloody hell, look how many pixels it is. We just moved a little bit. Fuck how many pixels? Look, 60, nearly 60. Nearly 60 pixels. <laughs> no way. It's already hard as it is. Man. It, can yeah. you actually see both coordinates when you put the magnifying glass in the middle? Yeah, yeah you can. Well, probably. Can no. you? Oh, just. No, you can see how gap it is. It's a big yes. gap, yes. That's definitely 60 so, pixels. If you yeah. stick one in the normally, middle. Normally, it's, it's that much of a gap, like from the middle and this, the, the bottom. Right, big now. Gap. It's because you got more you know, pixels. Uh, I don't want to take that off, actually. Let's leave it on. Looks good. Yeah, so similar height, but similar, sorry, similar X, but slightly lower. So if I go in between both of them, let's see how it looks. That's how I used to make it perfect like when I used to be runner up like you. Pretty much. I'm going to spend a penny, guys. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah. Yeah, no worries, pal. One and two as well. One second. Uh, let me see this quickly. Well, there is a little bit of white there. Is that just a reflection or what? Like from lights or look at the bottom of his eye. You see what I mean? There's like a little bit of white. Is that like a reflection or what? Probably. It's, it's not his eye. I can tell it's not his eye, but I don't know if it's like a reflection or. Yeah, just something on the camera lens or something. Don't know. From the blue player, I think that no, orange might be even oh. a better code. Twelve ninety seven, ninety six, seven oh six. Quite close to Ronaldo's code now, I think. Yeah, it was seven one one thirteen hundred seven one one. Yeah, it's a good code, Ronaldo. To be honest, very good code. Yeah, it's a good coordinate. Whew. Not bad. Not bad. All right, JD saying, what do you think about 1285682? That's the average. That's no, not the average. That's not the average, but uh, let me see. 12, no, average no, is 1236715. Yeah, that's very close to that, isn't it, uh, JD? No, it was the first average that. Because Dean read that out. 1285, 682. Oh, you mean the first, first average? First yeah. average was then very close to the line that we drew first. And the one we went in the middle, which is 1296, 706. No, that is the first average. 1285, 682. That is the last average. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that was very close to that line that we drew there. Look. Okay, I don't know if you mean. I don't know if they mean. Can you check what that looks like, or if he, or yeah, if they he must... just want to check to see what it looks like compared to the new yeah, one? He's... Yeah, I'm assuming he's trying to say, mention that because it'd be such a coincidence, sure, coincidence to get the same coordinate as the average. <laughs> Romaldo, if you want, you can share your screen on that. So, uh, Dean, you're gonna have to approve it. I think doesn't uh, Dean can share his screen if he likes. What do you think, Dean? Colin, Sean? Oh, you mean the average or the cluster of the average? Any of those. I think uh, the one, the bottom one's a bit low. It's, it's definitely going to be the. I think second one seems more realistic. The middle one? Yeah. 
comparing the eyelining of the guy in orange. Do you think the blue guy's just watching it then? Just like literally not going to do anything, just looking at it? Because it's a bit high in it for him to get it. It's passing over, I think. If the yeah, orange he, guy's headed it, then... If he, if the blue guy was going to go for a header, he would have been lifting his upper body. You can probably see him lifting it, like going like that. But there he's just running and he's just like slow down. He's in that running motion and he's quite slow down. So I don't think he's looking at ball coming down or something. I don't know what Dean and I Colin think just think about the it. other side of that line. Yeah, I just, just think the Brian of the Blue's just stopped. I think he's just stopped, yeah. and obviously he's seen the orange guy has headed it, so he's just yeah. stopped and he's just watching it go over. But yeah. obviously, just to, just before I, we carry on, JD Shank, you don't always have to go with our coordinate, buddy. You can go with your gut as well. So this is just yeah. a guess, it's just a just a random. You know, they're coordinate. saying that that's their coordinate, and it ends. It's ended up being yeah. the first the first average as well. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that, if, <laughs> looking at this yeah, picture exactly. at first glance, if you count the roof tiles, the line's over. So if you go six over from the from the edge, where One, that two, cluster three. is now, I think it's just on that sixth line, just to the left of it. Because you've got to go. Don't forget where the blue player is. His head's slightly tilted. We've got to take him into consideration of it. Yeah. So with his head being be on... tilted, that little bit, his eyes are like that. Yeah. And obviously, the orange player, orange player, has headed it, and he's coming down because you can see his yeah. shirt as he's coming down. Yeah. It's lifting up. So, Colin, you mean so on the six? Yeah. So it's just depending on the height, really. Good Mm. It just yeah. depends because if you go in that general area, he used to say if a judge if he takes one, he'll take the other one out. It'll move ever so slightly. So you know we've got to look at it like that. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the right area. You Depending know, on who the head judge is. It's probably what kind of more likely. Good night, Mother Steve. Good night. Night, Steve? Steve. Uh, Steve's working. Is he working tonight? Yeah. Maria Schmidt, the lifestyle question is ST, the new lifestyle question. I mean, the answer to the question, ST. Thank you, Connie, for saying to look at my name. But... Yeah, it's just a depending on the height. Uh, yeah, if, the first height. Any higher, I'd probably go to the fourth do. row of tiles. Probably just a tad higher. Yeah. Yeah, JD Shank, just go with your gut, buddy. D double up, triple up. It's up to you, buddy. But always go with your gut. Don't have to go with our average all the time. It's yeah. just a custom. You can use all. us as a guidance. Yeah. Would you agree, Dean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's just, it's just as a guidance. Them. Yeah. Go with your own. Yeah. Yeah, the average is the guideline where you can work around your coordinates. Yeah. yeah. Because even if you just done a little from where the uh, the cluster is there, you could literally just do a line from from left to right, and then probably just go up a bit, like just do a cross, so to speak. Just do like left to right, up and down. You because you you've got better eye line with the guy in the blue. Yeah, but it's just it's just the height because obviously, <laughs> like Mado said, you can't see where the orange player is actually kind of looking. Yeah, um, I mean, there is one thing on the orange eye. You can see his eyelid is closed slightly, just yeah. like slightly closed. But it's probably after the impact. Obviously, he's probably just open, obviously when you head of the ball. Obviously, you have your eyes open before the ball comes. But when you head of the ball, obviously your eyes do close. Then they reopen. Obviously, when it comes back off. So 
But he, he's, def he's definitely headed it already. He's not waiting for for it to head up. I don't think. But that's you can that's, still that's the see scenario that's going to be. Yeah, that's the scenario. What I'm thinking, what the judges are going to say. Are, are they going to say he's waiting to header it, yeah. or that he's headed it already? But yeah, Romano, it, can you put uh, the target on that coordinate, please? On what coordinate? On this one here, twelve ninety six seven seven oh six. And let me just download the full res and have a look. JD Shank, do you ever? Um, uh, just highlight that. But JD which one? Shank. The 1236 or the 1295? No, uh, 1296, 706. Just to answer your question personally for me, JD Shank, no, I don't. We are the stream, we are number one. <laughs> What's that? Do you guys have a look at number one? Number one. By the way, that's how it's to go. But it's not. It's not. Stop, we're not stopping anyone from looking at other streams just for. No, no, no it's not. But I, I personally, for me, I don't. So I just stay on here and help come out and. One, two, three. Make the best average that we can and help you guys to win. One, two, three, four. So, one, two, three, four. So, around this area. Um, I might need to double the size of the target because obviously it looks small on this picture. Because <laughs> you know it's thinged, in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, how many pixels is the target? Is the picture actually straight out double, or is it just slightly bigger? That's the issue. Uh, no, 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 it's slightly bigger. So because it's not directly double. Two nine four four, isn't it? It's nine. But okay, so X Y is two thousand pixels more. And so, uh, what's that as a percentage of the old one? That's like sixty percent. Oh, um. This is, uh, Forty percent more. Don't know if I can scale it. Let me see if I can just scale it. Yeah, Daddy Shank, that's no problem, buddy. No worries. It's just yeah, if it helps you out, that's that's fine. Arturo, I cannot sing for shit, mate. So I'm not singing. <laughs> I cannot hold a note. That's why I'm a bus driver. Okay, let me check. Hey, don't <clears> sort <throat> yourself out like that. We can sing, you know. We sing in a cab. <laughs> I, I don't. I just hear voices in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I put the old aircon on, so I don't hear all these voices saying things. Next up. <laughs> yeah, next up. Next up. Is this is this bus going to Calls and South? What does the blind say? Calls and South. Well, that's where I'm going then. <laughs> On a little diversion, just for you. So forty percent, <laughs> did you say? Did yeah. you say forty percent bigger? Forty percent, yeah. So I used there. to love it, me. Oh. We used to have an oh. express service that run up from uh, the uh, Manchester Centre up to Oldham. And it used to stop yeah. like every other stop. So it was like, you know, um, but it was a good three or 400 metres, this bus. What was the, what was the corner again? The uh, it's uh, 1296, 706. 12. And what was the X? Uh, y. Who's, I don't know who the South African guy is. I think I manually did it perfectly. <laughs> okay, now if it's in, 
One, two, three, third row, one. Yeah, I've got it for you. Two, one second. Three, four. So, which is here. Mm. Just save okay, it. That's how it looks with our <clears throat> thing. Mm. Let me see. Well, what, like I've said before, what they should do, they should do an auto fill. You know, your magnifying glass, just that the circumference of that little yellow thing, the yellow target. That should be an auto fill if you want to go like full whack. Like it would, tickets. it would fill barely anything on this picture, yeah. <laughs> on this picture, because <laughs> <laughs> of the amount of pixels in it. Like seventy-five will only be like a tiny, even tinier than it usually is. Mm. Cheers, Declan. Me too, buddy. I'm I'm not fussed in whatever car. Obviously, my heart's obviously the GTR, but I do go for other beasts like the RS6, the RS4, S, ABT, RS3, and like the Mercs and stuff like that, and the RSQ8 as well for family wise. But I'm I'm still a boy at heart, really, when it comes to cars. I just hope I'm I'm not too old when I do win. Yeah, you will be too old. Can you see that that pretty old guy that won the Litchfield GTR? Do oh, you remember the, that? Yeah, yeah, it was the black one, the old guy with the um. No, the no, the, the 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 quite old guy. He won the Litchfield one, not the regular GT. Yeah, he, he he actually he collected it too. So he collected it from Litchfield. Yeah. What do you guys think about this? The target. I remember I've sent you it anyway, Cam. Oh, you sent me one already. Okay, no worries. All right, have a look at that anyway, and I'll I'll put Romaldo's one in. Probably gonna be the same similar thing. Let me see. <clears throat> Did I make it all right? I've done it with I like manual. I just literally dragged it and made it that size. <laughs> it's the uh, Andy Wilmot person. One second. Uh, just type in uh, Litchfield GTR B O T B on uh, I, know, I know you had the you, you had the the board. Colin Dima, where has the South Africa? Oh, what big romance? Yeah, you had the board the guy that had the plus. Uh, the was he on about Colin? On. And then obviously you had the guy in the yellow, uh, not the yellow, the light blue shirt, but he was bald, but he had white hair around. But nothing on top. I can't remember if that was Litchfield one or not. Okay, that that one is Romaldo's one. So, uh, what do you guys think? Is it that big, Romaldo? Yeah, you said forty percent. So that's forty percent because I can scale it by percentage. Hmm? What do you think about this one? So does it it's, look like the tag? It's actually quite is biggish anyway, isn't it? No, no, I'm just I think saying that's too small. about the target. Do you think it's the all right, size or should I make it bigger? Okay, your one that was said forty percent. So, which is that? Yeah, Declan. Yeah, he's a winner. Is it Declan Halfpenny? Dean, go on YouTube and type in Litchfield GTR B O T B. You'll see it. What about him? No, it's the old guy that won the Litchfield one. Um. The last winner of the Litchfield. Yeah, it was in Feb February 2019 is the collection video for right, it. Winner, winners. Connie, size matters, mate. Size does matter. <laughs> and you can hear the Litchfield start up and everything because obviously it starts the car. When was it? What, what uh, month? Um, just put Andy Wilmot. In the... Oh, Andy Wilmot. Um he Andy has a collection Wilmot, video yeah. as well. Andy Wilmot. I remember that guy collecting, a, I think it was in work or BM, uh, from Don, uh, Doncaster. Yeah, that Doncaster accent, you can tell. And for some reason, it's not, it's not allowing me to... Um... No, just put it straight into YouTube, his name. Oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh... <sighs> Dean Dean, I'm older, Lord. Well, where's that gone? Um, Dean, where has this? People would move on. I think. It's got two T's. In its Easy name, answer. Wilmot. Uh, 
Oh, where's that gone? Where, where was he from? Um, does it say? How's it going, Kurdistan? Have you got a code on it? Submit. <laughs> it's been closed every single week. Oh, yeah. It was, like... yeah, it was that guy. Oh, I think it's not him. It's like Chase UK or something. Or his WhatsApp yeah. name is Kurdistan. Yeah, this might be some di different one. This might oh, be someone one. else. Okay. Mm. Channel, I'm on, on about a guy who wrote the channel who would do beauty. Yeah, is that guy, yeah. I like the first comment in his collection video. He must be feeling 25 years younger now. <laughs> yeah, because he said is that he, he says that he past past well. is the past. Can you imagine I win and you? Yeah, I, I can only imagine at the minute, Maria. One day. Yeah, I think we'll all win. We're all winners in some way. No, I only play best. Arturo Gatti, I only play the best of the best. I don't do these raffle games or anything like that. Or... Oh, okay, I'm saying, yes, it's me, Chai. Oh, okay, no problem. Dean GTR will be the same age as Captain Tom when he wins. Best of the best, 100 <laughs> years old. The next day he will pass. Cheers, cheers, mate. Yeah, positive thinking. <laughs> Little git. <laughs> well, I hope not. Hopefully it's not going to be that long to love way. Yeah, you need you need to win because you need to get married. So that's the most, most important mm -hmm. thing. Even though you can't hold up your wedding because of not winning. So, Dean, you'll eventually get married someday or another. But you can't, <laughs> can't yeah. hold it because I'm not going to get married until I win. But if mm. you're not winning for quite a while, you, you need to think, do I need to get married first and then win? We should, we should uh, you know, the our intentions, what I'm going to do if I win, like... I'll do it's good that. intention. Uh, it's not just about good or bad intention. Sometimes we should change it. Or sometimes have no intention whatsoever. Like, what I'm going to do with the money? Just win. Then you might just win. I don't know no, if you have good, no, if you have good intention, that's my uh, theory. If you have a good intention, you'll win somewhat. If you, if you don't have that good intention, you're going to use it in a bad way, then you'll never win. That's yeah. my... That's my opinion, but I don't know how you guys. I'm, I'm, going my opinion. I'm, I'm going to change my opinion. I'm going to spend the money on sex, drugs, and rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that means BK was saying it, BK must be an angel. Then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he must be an angel. Yeah. Uh, Lion Bar, I done uh, for the, the dream car just gone. I done 75 tickets. Yeah. How many did. Uh... Everyone else play. Sammy, I want a winner in here. Is it Sammy yeah. short for Samuel or Sammy? Sammy. Mm. Yeah, well, my playing that PlayStation Five. Mm. I put some. Uh, Maria Schmidt. Obviously, at the moment, um, they're doing FaceTime, so they will be calling you personally. They won't be. Contacting your surprise um, details till this pandemic's over. So once they start again, then they will be calling your surprise details. Then obviously, then they knock on the door wherever you'll be on Tuesday or or Friday, depending. Yeah, Dougie D, I could get a couple of a couple of more more wigs. Yeah, I could do. This, shoot off, guy. This, yeah. this this one's seen better days, you know. I need it like I need, need a. Why do you even have that week? <laughs> I don't know. Was, I think it was um, it was a couple of years back. Um, Good night, JD. It was, a, like, like it was a fancy dress thing. Good luck. It like a. It was like eighties uh, rock rock. Uh, <laughs> thing, so I just put it on just for a laugh. <laughs> Like a Bon Jovi theme kind of thing. Tell me, it's Sammy the winner. Tony What area did you play, Ding, on the dream car? Toby Tucker went for the um, 
I went for the winning coordinates. That's what area that I went for, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's the right mentality. But then the judges had to say otherwise, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the ju judges just put it somewhere else. They thought, all oh, right, things gone there. The we'll go over there. But they're going to remove three, four judges to basically. Imagine if you didn't play there, they would probably go there, you know. They're just like, yep, yeah. we can't. Uh... <laughs> the, the map. Uh, we'll we'll see tomorrow. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, it'd be nice. Good night, JD Shank. Take care, buddy. Good luck. Yeah. Good night, bro. I mean, it's sometimes night, it feels, sometimes it feels like they just remove it from your area. You know, like when the overall average is right near yours, and then there's yeah. some people, and it goes way off, and then you just don't get much credit. Yeah. I've noticed that quite a couple of weeks in a row. Like obviously, I do a big cluster, then I do about like five to six away from that cluster, and it might be closer to the smaller cluster, or it might be slap bang right in the middle of both of them, and you don't get much credit. But yeah, but um, we'll we'll see what happens tomorrow. Cause I've done the same kind of thing. I've done seventy-five tickets, but I've done a bigger cluster than a second bigger cluster. So. What if they are rotating the judges, you know, so we might get a different head judge tomorrow. That's why Matt was doing it all. Well, yeah, I, reckon, uh, yeah. I reckon Matt will be the judge tomorrow. Imagine Alan Goma. That <laughs> was the judge. <laughs> right, keeping everyone, in. keeping everyone in. Keeping everyone in. I haven't yeah, I think the ball's there. Oh, it's the one with the hand in, isn't it? Like, yeah. Uh, the hand is close to the bar. Uh, the hand is in, I think. <coughs> with the, the house in the background. No worries, Sammy. How many do you think you'll be playing on this one, roughly? Do you think on the midweek? This one? It depends on the ticket tomorrow. About credit, sorry. So if, if you I, got like average yeah. credit back, like your normal sort of amount. If I got like... 75 credit back 75 pound or something i'll let some money and play 100 i mean not 100 like 75 tickets yeah probably about 50 tickets i think five zero twenty twenty six thirty six maybe 42. or if i get shit credit back like 14 pounds oh sorry i've done 49 <laughs> tickets sorry i and, thought i've done 40 but i've done 49 tickets. Do 20 tickets oh. Counted. Yeah, it's just it's just the height on this one. I think that's the main issue. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, it's more, you know past few weeks or months it's always been the height. You know the maybe, area is good. It's the height that was causing maybe turn the, the pace problems. turn the picture sideways and then you might get the height. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know the couple of run ups I've had. It's always been the height. The pixel X has been bang on every time I played. It's just the wide, the height. It's been either up or low. Yeah. Is the winning tax free, or you got to declare in your self assessment? You, I don't know about that. Uh, Dean probably can answer that. In UK, it's tax free. It's tax free. Yeah. No, but if you're self-assessment, if you're self-employed, uh, sometimes you can do your own self-assessment tax return. I used to do that self-assessment. And uh, do you have to declare that if you want? What do you have to declare winnings in the UK? No, no. You win it. You win it. Winning on a on a business account, you can you should put it on the personal account, isn't it? I hope so, Dougie D. I appreciate your. Yeah, you have to declare it, I think. All winnings are considered as a gift. Right, AK has I just clarified that. Yeah. So, say, say imagine I won and uh, I was self-employed. I don't have to declare that as my income for the year. No, because it's you not your that? income, is it? It's, uh, it's, no, it's what, a no, what is? Yeah. If you're self-employed and you've got self, uh, self if you do self-assessment, if you're not using an accountant, if you've not got a big business, but you're just general self-employed person, you do self-assessment like I've done in the past. Um, 
I think uh, the win is that right? So you have to declare that as your profit. You have to only declare your profit, not your expenditure and all that. You have to when you, you put all them costs down, like your earnings, your expenses. They, they disregard that. They, yeah, but the thing is, it would only be an income if you're using the money from the business to play it. Technically, you know. Yeah. So it's not. It's not. It's like if you won the lottery, you don't get taxed on the lottery because it's uh, just winning it. Winning and it, and it like like Aki has had mentioned about a gift, so you don't have to declare it to the taxman that I won fifty million. Then <laughs> taxman will be like, "Oh, give us a share." <laughs> yeah, if you if you do my tax, if you do my return for the next fifty years for free. <laughs> It's good, valid questions. They're really good questions to know. Cause... Yeah, Dougie D, what about unemployed claiming credit or benefit? I believe, I don't know for you sure, but that. I believe... You have to declare... It's not a wage, um, is it? No, what it is, is I think with unemployment, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think, Me say like you're claiming job seekers, if you've got so much savings in your account, you can't claim yeah. job seekers. I don't know how much it is, so... Um, so obviously, yeah, if, you, if you if you win the big amount, you probably won't be able to claim job seekers anymore because you'll have too much savings unless you like literally just spend it instantly. You know, put it, in your, know, savings, said... put it in your savings account. Mum's a word. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, an, an offshore account. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dougie D says Shawnee's gonna win his RS3. I hope do Dougie, and I hope you win as well. And I hope the rest of us win. Oh, Dougie says it's 16k. You can have up to 16k. How did they work that figure out? 16k. Where did they work it out from? I don't understand it. <laughs> Either 15 or 20. 16. It'll tell you on the job seekers, let me have that. In the middle. Why they work the income of 16k as your maximum <laughs> savings you can have? It seems to come far it. from the topic of BOTB, but let me have a look. It, it, no, it, it is related to be a TV. No matter people say they won and what can they do, and it is part of some kind of be a TV related questions. But it's good questions to know. Say if you if you're unemployed mm-hmm. and uh, you claiming benefits, and if you won, say a Bentley or a Range Rover, like that you took the cash and doing eighty k, you've got to declare that a bit to the. Job center, or wherever you uh, the gov.com that you, yeah. your savings have gone, so you have to cancel your claim or you mm-hmm. want to close your claim. So, I think you have to do that. But as in tax wise, I don't like you, Dean was saying it, or you have to declare it because it's a gift, it's yeah. not related to your wage. Or, or the other theory of mine is what they don't know, they won't find out. Yeah, it says a. Uh, uh, universal <laughs> credit. I don't know if that counts. As, is that the same as GSA? I don't know. It says that you've got sixteen thousand dollars less in savings. Yeah. Why have you got sixteen thousand and one pound? Then you better spend two. Spend that. Pound. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's just a question. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice car, the mini countryman, but too small for me. I wouldn't go for that. For myself, it's a bit too small for me. I like big cars. 54 more likes to reach 100, guys. Yeah, smash that like button, guys. If you're watching, you might as well. AK Azad said it. Check. Which group AK Azad? Oh, I'll yeah, he's put it. AK Azad said uh, <laughs> uh, lottery winnings taxed in UK. In the UK, lottery winnings are tax free, but. Income yeah. earned and when it is taxable. So you, mean the in- so you mean the interest, AKZ? Say if you won the lottery and you've got you've put in a bank account and that bank account because of the the amount uh, of winnings you got, it's the, taxable interest. Uh, you mean? I've just found out the JSA is separate to Universal Credit, and you can actually claim JSA if you've got over sixteen thousand savings. There's some other criteria on it, but you can claim. GSA, if you've got over 16,000 savings, yeah, it's different. You can't get universal credit though. There's something different. I've just checked, yeah. it's on the Job Seekers website. So it's good to know these things, really. 
Because there's a new helpful. style one, apparently, new style job seekers thing. Yeah, because I'm the obviously I'm the only worker because obviously my other half looks after the the boys and stuff like that. Yeah, so she gets universal credit, but because I because yeah. I earned over sixteen hundred because obviously it was a five week five week this one, they took took um, nearly a thousand pound off of her, so she only just got over a thousand pound. Um, Universal credit, but if I earn less than that, then she gets more. Which obviously, this is just a vicious circle. So every pound I earn, they take sixty three p off for every pound that I earn. So it's a bit of a vicious circle because obviously my my eldest boy's got ADHD. Is that some kind of a uh, autism spectrum? That yeah. So yeah, my nephew's got that. She was getting, she was getting got... money for that, but then obviously job seekers allowance have taken that money off, which I just think is unfair. And obviously, it I'm isn't... the only one that's working. I'm paying rent. I'm yeah. paying. I'm paying for everything else and stuff. But she just gets that, and every like all like the bills and stuff like that get paid, and um, like a shop as well. So, which leaves yeah. us kind of nothing. So it it's is a bit a of a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's crazy system. I think the universal credit when they say one month you earn two thousand because it's five weeks, next month you earn fifteen hundred because it's four weeks, and then the, the 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 benefit you get from probably the universal credit goes up and down. It's just not in the balance. It's crazy that. Yeah. yeah but there's a lot of it, there's a lot of being criticism about the universal credit when it first came out. Uh, people have not been paid. People have waited long enough. To get the first payment, there's been a lot of backlash on that, yeah. and it's—I I don't think they prepared it when they were getting the manifesto out about that. They didn't prepare it right. They should have thought for years about if you're going to switch to this, if you're going to work, if you're not going to put people in trouble, you know. And it has it's put people in poverty, but it's created food banks. Where you didn't hear about food banks five, six years ago. Yeah. It's just it's unfair on people sometimes. You know, I think it's 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 not a fair system sometimes. I mean, people work all their lives. I mean, I worked since I was sixteen, up to the pandemic. I'm forty two now. Twenty odd years of work non stop, paid tax, everything, but it's just crazy. But it's it's good to know about you know, if if, if you run the the prize and then you have to declare that you won somewhere but I think you have to be straightforward sometimes no I wouldn't it's mm. just winning the prize isn't it you won a is prize it? it's not like it's not like you've earned it you've earned it earned yes it. That, that, that is a good that is a good point AK has had um, uh, raised on there he said it's a gift so if someone gives you a gift uh, you can't. You don't have to declare to anybody. I got a gift from a dean. He's giving me a headphones. I have to declare it that I earned yeah. that or something. You know, it's just yeah. You got a good point there. I don't think you have to declare yeah. it if it's a to. gift. Yeah. You've, you've, won, you've won the prize, so it's not like it's mm. like an income or anything like that. You've won it fair and square. So, yeah. AKA, said, you don't have to declare anything to anyone. If you've won a prize, it's not like an income. It's not like you've worked. For one day and earn twenty grand, so to speak. Yeah, so, yeah you don't have to worry about anything like that. So, yeah, if yeah. you're in America, though, I think you have to pay tax on winning. So, you know, but there's a good question, Red guys. All right, you you've got the winnings, but uh, that's tax free. But the interest you earn on the winnings will be taxable. There's quite yeah. a few people mentioned that, and I've heard of that before as well. Oh, yeah, it's because it's going into, I don't know. In your interest, say if he's going in your interest saving account. Well, I'd like to actually get in that situation, yeah. Where... <laughs> yeah. That's the no, thing, you, got... you, had, you had Sammy that one. you had Sammy that one, and obviously he had his money trans transferred straight over, so I don't think he had any, well, I don't know if he's watching tonight, but I'd like to see what he he's... Um, yeah. Or any other... Wit or any other one. It's good to know that because yeah. it's a good point to... You know, yeah, it's obviously good... had Darren as well. So I'm sure when they had the money transferred straight over, I don't think they got 
like text or anything like that. It just went straight into their account. So no, I remember Chris, uh, Chris Phillips, the Lamborghini Hurricane founder winner. Yeah, he got it all fully in because he showed it on the. He put it on WhatsApp. I think he got was it 180 k he got from that Lamborghini Hurricane something like that. And he, he, I think he got it all. So he didn't. I don't think they took any off. Because yeah. it's a gift, so it's like a gift he got. And if they're taking some other gift, it's unfair of it, then. Yeah. yeah. If I if I was if I won that Lamborghini, I would have had it for a year at least. Then then um, then sold it. So to play, for, to play for your dream car, then not to have it is just like, well, what was the point of playing for it? But so could opinion, so. gone to Google. I just typed it in on Google. So I don't know if you Google reliable reliable enough source for you. It says here, do I have to pay tax on winnings? Gambling winnings aren't taxable in the UK, while other countries will tax anywhere between one percent to twenty and twenty five percent. The UK won't care if you've won ten pound or ten thousand. The thing is that the tax is paid by operators. So betters don't need to worry about it these are taxes related to gambling and will affect you if you live in the uk so any taxes are all done by botb i think that's why you get less as a cash alternative than when you take the car that's probably why yeah, they claim yeah, some back on yeah. tax and all this other stuff yes they do yeah so that's why you get less than the car value if you take the cash alternative i think yeah because yeah, what's the lamborghini value of the Urus? If you took the cash, what would what would be the big difference of it? Because it says it on the when you, descri- um, when you click on the description of the car itself. Cash alternative on a Urus is one hundred and ninety three grand. And the retail price. The retail price is uh, one one Yeah, that, that's probably why the cash alternative is less as well, because any tax, anything to do with tax is yeah. Uh, yeah. on the uh, yeah, operator side, B- as it says on Google. Oh, it, yeah, BTV might know about this, so that's why they've done that. They're really onto it. Mm. It's, it's good, you know, it's a good topic, you know, raised about if you won, you have to declare it. That's good to know. Maybe we've got a, someone's winning soon then. Yeah. Uh, Evening Tony Walsh, how are you doing, buddy? How's it going, Tony? Hope you're good, brother. I mean oh, if you want to know for sure, you could always ask at some kind of financial advisor on, on the thing. Nah a BOTB winning are ta- tax free anyway. If you win it's tax free. And if you're self employed you don't need to declare it then like that the main question someone raised about it. Yeah, because it's not your earnings, you've just won something, so Yeah, that's so- okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. That's, I mean, someone just put down, he won some uh, nabs. He said he won 19k on Betfair. He won some, won some on the horses and he's yeah. tax free. Yeah. So any winning from the bookies is tax free. Yeah. So even if you won 126 million, Dean, tomorrow on the, um, what's it called? Your million. Yeah, really. You got tax free, so you could share a couple of million between the panel. And the community the, the interest on that alone is just, just stupid. <laughs> you could give the interest to us then. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. It's just it's just easy money, really. Yeah. Unless you're really really stupid and you could go and blow that up, uh, go and blow that, and but I, I would be sensible with it. Yeah, you got, I, I, you would know. Just, I would keep it low profile. Nobody would know that I've won it apart from obviously my. Like my family, well, my parents anyway, and stuff like that. Yeah, so. yeah, but you you've got to help people. You know, you can't. I would help people, a lot of people, and just to say, look, I'm giving you as a gift. Don't ask me where I got the money from. Simple as that. Like you say, keep it low yeah, profile. That, that, you just want to live a private life, in it really. You yeah, but that's the thing, though. Like we were talking about, obviously, if I've won a hundred, just say if I was that lucky and I won tomorrow and I won 126 million, I couldn't go and take like a couple million and go and give it to my mum and dad because they would be taxed on it yes that, that would be tax yeah so if it was like just less than 20 grand i think it's all right it we draw we draw a thousand pound per week yeah so, what about if you uh buy <laughs> some... when they require 
What if you buy something of a value of like a couple of million and then you give it to them and they sell it? Do you still get tax on that because it's worth more than the amount it can be for taxable? Say like you buy them a Bugatti to sell and then they sell it, you know? Yeah. You know, either either yeah, way, you could do. If I if I were, if I did that, Dean, if I won that much, buy my parents a new house or something like that. So I don't know if that house will be getting taxed on it because it's a gift. But it's a gift. So to another question. Yeah, the new teacher would be a giving away, giving away thing. I mean, <laughs> now I'd still play Dougie Day. Yeah, it's just fun. You know, honestly, if I won the lottery tomorrow, Dean, I'd still play beer TV because yeah. it'd be boring not, not doing anything, you know. It, lockdown, since the pandemic started on lockdown, that's why you've got more beer TV players now. Because yeah. of that, there's nothing else to do. You're staying at home. But this is somewhat each day or each week or every day for us. You look forward to do something about, you know, on beer TV. So you've got yeah. something to look at. With 126 million, I could just open all open all these um, accounts and be W O Y two. If you did win, though, <laughs> would you be paying 75 tickets every week? Oh yeah, on both competitions. Week in, week yes, out. Yes, definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely. For the up, you should do it for the up because you you won't be bothered yeah. about the case you want to win, so you should just do pay, it for the up. Pay, both competitions. Pay, pay <laughs> I'll take the cash. If I win, I'll take the cash. If I win the lottery, I'm gonna be the next Mr. BK. BK. <laughs> You're going to find now. every competition online and just do max tickets on every single one. <laughs> yeah. 75 tickets on what? What's the cheap, What's the cheapest you'll pay on 75? Obviously, if it's 10 plus, you get that discount. Uh, what's the cheapest 75 tickets you play and plus cash and fuel? What will be the total? Go and work your maths out. I don't know. Um, what, <laughs> mid- 13, what midweek? 13k is the cash alternative for the up, and then you got 50k, 63 plus 70k, so that's 83 pounds, 83,000. But how many? I'm, I'm saying how much would you have paid for 75 tickets on the up, including so cash so and fuel? For midweek, it's 80p, and plus cash and fuel. So if you work it out, it's, it probably uh, works out more ch- cheapest ever. It's like under 60 quid or something to pay, play uh-huh. 75 tickets because you get that discount every 5, 10 tickets, you know, that 5, 10 t- ticket discount. Uh-huh. I would never so play if, for the app, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> no, but if you look at it, it, with that 20k, it is worth some time playing for that now. I know the car, you don't want to take the car, but I think the be- best value now is the 63. Now we've got, we got the BM M2 on 61. So it's worth having a shot because somebody won that Fiesta guy who won the dream car. I think it, it was 40K altogether or was it 30? Because it, it didn't take the 20K. So considering that, it's, considering that we, we, you know, we, it's worth playing for midweek now. I think it's good to play midweek. Yeah. Well, if I won that 126 million, I'd obviously still like sort myself out, and I'd still have nice cars. But I, I wouldn't obviously play. I wouldn't play. I probably would miss midweek and just play for dream car. Yeah. What about going on elite competition? But spend 20k on that. Nah, nah. Set for life. <laughs> Yeah, like do you say you don't I don't play any other competition, guys. I don't play no, any other. I just play on here. Yeah. yeah. I only play B O T V because I yeah. did and I did mention quite a few competitions to scam and you said the scam, so I, I, I am a bit spe- skeptical on there. Because yeah. I was most, I was, most of them are generated anyway, on computer generated, so Yeah. So it's, with this, you've got a skill and you've got the same chance as Vinny has any of the others. With computer generated, it's just luck. Yeah, Fill up, you know, random drone like a lottery number. Plus, you don't get yeah. no credit back. So yeah. Some other things, yeah. Yeah, on this, BOTV is good because you're getting some kind of credit back, even if it's 10%, you're getting some back. Yeah. Camel do some competitions on the wheel. You know that wheel where you put the names on? 
<laughs> yeah, the Google thing or something. Probably. That wheel really? thing that you put the names on. It'll yeah, have about right, let 200 names on it. Who's up for that competition? Anyone wants to do that? <laughs> yeah, let's do a quick one. What's let's the maximum one. number of names you can actually put on it? I don't know. Let me see. Can you put like a thousand names on it and then like actually have a competition run on it? Yeah, I can do actually. Let me see. Was that name of wheels or name of whatever something? Name of wheels. There you go. Oh, still got it from last time. Does it say anywhere? AK saying yes. No one else. <laughs> oh man. Maybe I was tired. It's Monday. Monday. Appreciate that, Tony. That's a bit of kindness. That. Sit the thought. What counts? Cheers, Tony Walsh. Good luck, buddy. Got to do some t I've got to do some tickets click, tomorrow, actually. Click to spin it with no names on it. Does it let you spin it? No. This, Just this put one name on it. Who's it going to land on? <laughs> this, is, this is for the prize of Supercar Plus. Yeah, we've, got a, we've, got a couple, we've got a couple. We've got AK Hazard, Tony Bentley, Mike T, Tupac, Dr. Quinney. <laughs> Tupac, you call. Mike, T Mike Tyson, Mike T. Anyone wants to do it? One pound each. Your name's your name's upside down. That means you'll be runner up. Look, like it's not the right way up. <laughs> anyone, if anyone wants to do it, one pound each. Say yes now. One pound. What's the price? Well, whatever we get in it, whatever we get. Yeah, it's little. It's a bit of fun. We have a bit of fun on Monday because Monday's a boring day. Who oh, the, the roulette. Do you still have the one roulette? Pound, one, pound, one pound each, just one pound. One pound fish. You've seen that video. One pound fish. Very, very <laughs> cheap. Very, very cheap. One pound fish. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up for it? Who's up for it? Tell me. Pound I'll give you a pound if I win tomorrow. Yeah, how about yeah, that? Yeah, how about that, Andy? Okay, Andy's up for it. Okay. A pound, please. You can send it via PayPal. <laughs> And is up for it. Anyone else? Okay, let me see. If we get at least 10 people, then I'll do it. Include us. So you got 10. Okay, yeah, yeah, definitely. Let me see. Say yeses. You have to you need to have a paper. You have to you need to have a paper. And then I'll just transfer you straight away. As soon as someone wins. It's gonna be fun. But keep it in mind, guys, they might charge for the transaction fees on PayPal sometimes. So whatever going to be the balance. Cheers, Craig. You're going to get it. Let's see if anyone's up for it. Three people. Cheers, I'm Craig. not up for it. <laughs> you know, I know I'll lose. <laughs> Inflatable gun. Romaldo's not up for it. Okay, Sean is up for it. Yeah, <laughs> go on. Because I know I'll lose. Yeah, I'm, I'm saving my money for my tickets. <laughs> I'd rather put that pound on a uh, up RX seven because <laughs> that's like pound twenty or something. So the uh, Doctor Quinny goes no PayPal I'm out. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. If people, are, if people used to talk, there was another one, Pazer. Do you remember Pazer? Yeah. What happened to that? Take the Patreon as the pound for me. Saving money for midweek tickets. <laughs> well, everyone who's on pay Patreon has technically uh, paid you the the money for this. So, uh... yeah, Patreon. <laughs> okay. okay, just say if you just say yes if you got PayPal. Okay, if you want to, then it's up for it. Anyone from the panel up for it? No. No. No PayPal. No, no everyone's PayPal. poor. I've already yeah. spent the money on a dream car. That's fine, mate. That's fine. That's only for fun anyway. It's only one pound. Yeah. Until you have to. One pound fish. 
One pound fish, very, very cheap. Bag of chips. I don't even, I don't even know if you can get them for a pound nowadays. Bag of chips for a pound, you'll be lucky. I know. So get you one can? chip. I was going to say, it's about four, four pound fifty for medium. Yeah, Dean down, I think chips and corn was one pound somewhere down Iron. Yeah. It's about, it's about nine quid for chips and a small cod, just right over the road from where we are. I guess it depends where yeah. you live as well, you know. Yeah, obviously. it depends what bit tippy you go to. I mean, sometimes we go to like five pound fifty or something like that, six pound. Yeah. But a chips. You, you're cold. waiting literally fifteen minutes for them to do it from fresh, and it's like, well, what, what, what was you doing? Was you going to a lake and bloody catching the fish or something? And oh, they, they get that battered thing. They get that battered, yeah. and then they have to put it in the oil and start frying it. The batter thing. the fish to the. <sighs> yeah, the batter thing they use. Elbow drop. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, this fr with well, this Friday, I'm going to have a nice Ruby Murray. Yes. Oh, I haven't had one for a while, so that was my cheat day. So might as well have have a nice curry. Not too hot. No chicken dance. I don't do hot. It's one I thing. Like that... Yeah, my favorite is chicken tikka masala. So a bit is of anyone... Coriander to top me up. Hmm. Is anyone confident for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I didn't group my tickets to... together, so I don't think I'll win. I think, uh, separated. 60 think, 40 for me. Uh, me, uh, what did I say last week when I came with 90 10? This week, yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm 95% certain I've hit zone one again. Or maybe runner up, or maybe win, who knows? Fingers crossed. What's an, what's an Irish curry? Uh, it's got, it's got yeah. clove leaves in it. It's probably got like uh, whiskey in it. No, it's like that. Uh, no, it's probably like, uh, you know, the Irish do. You must be talking about that. Ah, oh, okay. You get me? Mm. I thought it was like an Irish coffee anyway. It's got like a, <laughs> a bit First of a... Uh, Guinness or something like that. Um, I've, never, I've, never I've never heard of an Irish. So I'm not, I'm not wow, look at that spread. Mine spread to be fire as well. Yeah. I've got loads of doubles that. everywhere. Far away from my coordinates. <laughs> so having chicken so, balls. <laughs> Cam, is your range from 1100 to 1300? From the oh, furthest yeah. left to the right. It's probably. Your first tick is 1100, yeah. Well, look, with all those like clusters, which one are you the most confident in out of all those? Like, which would be the closest, do you think? Or could possibly be the winner? 1450. Uh, most confident is there. This yeah, I've played, I played some in that area. Yeah, definitely. Well, that's where I played, played my 75 tickets. <laughs> in that area, yeah. In, did in you the put them pixel by pixel, or did you uh, spread them? No, I just done so them. Double, every, like, every single ticket, so double, double, triple, double. Yeah, triple. I've doubled, <laughs> once I've doubled them. You know why I came running up last week? I didn't double my tickets, and that I've yeah. learned a lesson. I've, le I've learned my mistake from last time when we were literally three pixels out when Sammy won. Yeah, we oh, yeah, that was in, close to being a runner up. Mm. And yet, so you're in the same I mean, area as Cam, which means if it's there, then Cam will just get runner up and you'll win. <laughs> I have a tiebreaker. Imagine really ringing. How about that? Eh? You lot have got three of you on the channel have got tiebreak tomorrow. Mm. Get ready. Yeah, cause one person's played one ticket there. Uh, I mean, if it was tiebreaker, it would have been today anyway. Yeah, I think it would. It would yeah, be too much to do. Out of the way, then phone the winner tomorrow. Yeah. Well. I'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll be available at 11 o'clock because I'll be driving non-stop tomorrow. Are you out early in the morning tomorrow, Dean? Not as early as I was today. I was up at 3.30. Yeah, I've on the surprise details, uh, Dean. Yeah, I've, put, I've, I've, I've done that. Yeah, I've said that I'm available at uh, 11 o'clock. So I'm literally non-stop driving tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, you could you could put it on your surprise uh, detail. What You could say a uh, message. So just say, can you please ring me after 10 a.m.? That's what we just yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah <laughs> see, I'm, it's sorry, I'm just. It's me. That's all right, <laughs> mate. 
He's, he's got a bit of a, a bit of a alcohol in there, is there? Yeah, he's doing a pipe a... too. No, pipe's knackered out because he lost the day of win yesterday because of he was going for that uh, the City Liverpool three one, but he ended up four one. I, I, I think he put a bit on Leeds winning as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. I don't he know. put that as a nil nil draw. I'm sure he could change it halfway through. No, I think he said. Um, I think. I think he said Leeds to win, but both teams to score. But it ended up, it ended up Leeds winning 2 0. Yeah. Dougie, yes, I'll carry on. Doesn't matter if I win or don't win. Even if I win, I'll still carry on for like, you know. No, he'll he'll yeah. leave. He'll get he'll get Dean to do it then. <laughs> Dean to be the host just... standing host. No, I, I couldn't no. I couldn't do that. I couldn't be a host like Cam. Cam's the man. Yeah, but... We'll still do it. You know, if I win, I'll still carry on doing this. It's something to I'm do. Can't, I'm a that, follower can't I'm a leader. Yeah. Even That's because you want to get the BOTB license plate and just show it off in front of Darren. <laughs> <I'll put> it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's good. He's still got to do the videos. You know, if I you, uh, if I won and I, I didn't come and do videos now and again, we do like, it's just been, I'll be being selfish in a way because mm. I'm just thinking about me winning and not helping others to achieve that. that. That's not me. I would still do videos, probably not every day, but I'd probably still come on more days and still help you people. Might, yeah, so would I. Well, it's not you might want to take the, the day off your win, though. You might want to take the day off your win because you'll be spammed with about 100 million questions. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I'm, yeah. I'm willing to answer. I'm willing to answer every single question. The, the stream will literally be just questions for the full yeah, thing. Yeah, question <laughs> answer session. I just literally do a Bruce Almighty. It would be yes to all. <laughs> copy paste. Yeah, what are you going to do? Are you gonna take, the most, most appropriate question will be: What are you going to take, the cash or the car? That's and they'll the just say yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> do you say the car or the cash? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But do you reckon during over last year into now, more people taking the cash than the cars? I think so. Most not... of the majority, because you haven't seen any of the collections, have you? Yeah. Because last people... part of was that Seat one, that um... Cooper. Yeah, uh, whatever it was. Yeah, the four the four wheel drive one. It was yeah, the yeah, Porsche yeah. around Christmas, wasn't there? Yeah, the, the guy from uh, Christmas. I think. Wiltshire, the guy from Wiltshire, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that one, yeah. He got it delivered at home. He got the Porsche delivered to himself. And then there, is the, that Audi that's been done up as well, from the Christian interview thing you were saying, weren't there? Oh, yeah, the Welsh guy, yeah. Is yeah, that a young kid taking the Audi? Yeah, got a Nardo grey one. Nardo grey, I love that colour. Mm-hmm. Either that or the blue. I don't know, what's the blue colour called? On the one, obviously, you see on the dream car. The blue colour. What, what's that colour known? I don't, I don't know. It's blue, but it must have a. What is it called now? I, I, I don't know. We've got Nardo Grey and we've got that somewhat yellow, mm. some of that green as well. But I think Nardo, uh, blue or Nardo Grey, that's my both colours I'll choose. But mm. in the end, I'll go for blue because I love blue. Mm. It's my favourite colour. Yeah. You can see why. Blue, blue t shirts. Yeah. Just to answer Mikey T's. Um, question. It's up to you, buddy. What I usually do, obviously, I do my coordinate, then I do three up from that coordinate, three down from the coordinate, three right, three left. If you just want to cover all bases, and just it's up up to you, depending on what your your money situation is like and whatnot. So it's always good to double up, triple up, or quadruple up, whatever whatever you want to do, buddy. Got to be in it to win it. Yeah. I think we should uh, call it a night. It's been going on for quite a while now. Yeah. So yeah. before we go, come. Yeah. Uh, I wish everyone good luck for tomorrow, and I hope we have a family winner. Definitely. Cam just wants to go off because he's so confident in his tickets. Even though he's saying he's not, he's so confident in them. He's going to go to sleep, wake up about 8 o'clock in the morning, ready for the call at like half past 11 yeah. or something. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna, be... I'm, I, I might go live. I, I might go live on my Twitch account i'd start doing probably we'll do some gaming or something i don't know let's that's yeah. it, it you do some gaming and then you'll get a phone call at 11 you go hold on a minute i've got to go take a call <laughs> no still be on your gaming with your headphones and hello 
Yeah. <laughs> and you'll pretend to mute it. You're like, I'll, uh, once again, I've got to mute the thing. And then you'll forget to mute it. And then uh, people will... And then you'll pretend like you're speaking to Christy and you'll be like, hey, uh, I've just muted my stream because I'm just uh, doing a stream right now, a gaming stream. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect to win. <laughs> people... Oh, I mean, he... Nah, <laughs> I'm, not... <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not... I know there's a reason why Christy started calling players late. Obviously, it's lockdown. Nobody's... Some don't go to work or work from home, so he gives them a bit of time. Because he used to go to places early because, like, Darren... Because his, I think, surprise contract was that his girlfriend mentioned that he, he starts work at eight, so he was there at eight. Somebody, he's gone to this guy in Newcastle, he went, he had to start work at half eight, he went to his at eight. So that was the reason he goes early. But I think generally after nine, you know, half nine, between half nine and 11 o'clock is a decent time to call in winners. Yeah. Cam, someone said the ultimate Mustangs for sale on Litchfield Motors. Yeah, I read that. It's from. Uh... Coney, I think. Yeah, what's the point, bro? I can't... Well, I'm sorry, Craig. I can't afford it at the moment. Uh, it's not, you know... But yes, in future, maybe. Maybe afford it tomorrow. No, 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 no. No, not tomorrow. <laughs> other day, other weeks, yeah. Tomorrow, I'm just hoping to get good credit. I'm not winning tomorrow, 100%. But, but thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you like this video, please give us some thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And consider yeah, dropping yeah. Patreons. Links in the description below. And... Uh, Good luck, everyone. Hope you guys win, and I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 p.m. Have a good night. Good luck. Good night. God bless.